All right, guys, today we are talking about our cool down from Unit 7, Lesson 5. Jada says figure A shows an angle, but figure B does not. Do you agree? Explain your reasoning. Okay, so if I take a look at both of these, I know A is an angle. And I know that because an angle is made up of two rays. And if you guys remember, a ray has an endpoint and an arrow, right? Okay, so a ray is made, or an now I forgot what I was saying. An angle is made up of two rays, and they meet at one point. That point has a special name. Who remembers the special name for this point? And it is not point. Chase. Vertex. Good job. So that is the vertex. Guys, this thing right here is a curve. It is not an angle. Okay. All right. Let's look at number two. I'm going to switch colors. Okay, number two. Identify the angles in each letter and draw the rays to show each angle. So first of all, I see an angle right here. And what kind of angle is that, guys? Right. Right. So we have a right angle, and then I would just add my rays with their vertex, so it would look like that. And then if we look at the letter Y, oh, I see three angles. I'm going to have to erase this one so I have room. Okay. So first, I see this angle right here. What kind of angle is that, you guys? Right. Acute. Acute. So here we have acute. Okay, then if I grab another color, I can see this ray and this one. They form a rather large angle, and what would you call that angle? Obtuse. What kind? Obtuse, right? And then I'm going to grab another color, because over here, I see another one. What kind of angle is this one? Obtuse. It's another obtuse. Okay, if my pen would work. All right, and uh, literally, that was your cool down for lesson five.